So, hello, this is uh, Michael. Um, I want to give you a quick update um, what happened in the um, OnCloud clients. Um, it's a while then we, um, uh, that I gave you an update and um, yeah, some, some outlook on the um, roadmap. Um, I'm the product owner for the own cloud um, client platforms, desktop uh, and uh, mobile, and also for the branding services. And um, I am working with the, with the teams um, in this area. And um, yeah, so, some amazing things to show you here. Okay, I will show you um, something about the desktop, the Android and um, the iOS. Um, uh, due to technical difficulties, I have to postpone the MDM demo. Um, I think we will do a webinar the next few um, weeks, and um, yeah, we, then we post this link in the in, in the newsletter. Very sorry uh, that we cannot have a look at the MDM um, uh, configuration, really hands-on part today. So I will only show you show, show you show you this. Okay. Let's start with the OnCloud desktop client. Um, some, some news. Um, so, um, we introduced OpenID Connect as a new standard for um, uh, authentication. Um, so, there's a layer on top of the um, OAuth. Um, and um, with this, we support all the um, um, OpenID Connect um, identity providers. Um, which gives us greater control about security. So all the clients, um, they, they follow um, the, the, the policies, if the um, IDPs enforce a policy or, or, or so, um, then um, uh, it, it's applied uh, not only to the desktop client, but also to the, to the um, uh, mobile clients. Uh, so um, in the OpenID Connect, you have different um, layers. You have the PKCE, also called Pixie. Um, what we have um, is also the dynamic client registration. Uh, this, this means um, previously you have to enter, um, you, you have to register your clients, the client ID, the secret, the, the um, redirect URE um, to, uh, to your IDP. Uh, for, for every client platform. Um, this is no longer necessary with uh, dynamic client registration if your IDP supports this. And OpenID is also the core of authentication in the uh, OTSIS. So this also um, makes, a, makes a desktop uh, client um, work with OTSIS and, and um, all kind of, 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 of IDPs, identity providers. So, also in OTSIS, there's a new upload protocol. Um, it's uh, called uh, TUS, TUS.io. It's a common standard for, 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 for uploads. And it does not use um, chunks in a specific size. It uploads, and when it fails, it, it continues, uh, makes uploads more performant and more, more reliable. Uh, and based on the capabilities, the desktop client um, sees um, uh, is this an OCloud instance where I have um, um, chunking support, um, or is this an OSIS instance where I have um, TUS support? Um, there were quite some changes in the in the in the UI. Um, new icons, um, dark mode, uh, streamlights, some things, some ease, so, some harder to find settings uh, are now more 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 accessible and so on. So, but the big topic. Um, last time um, was the, the virtual file system, uh, um, uh, VFS. Um, similar as in other applications, they, they have files on demand, sync on demand. Um, we are using a uh, Windows system API here. Um, and um, yeah, that's the reason why it's only supported on, on Windows 10. Um, and with 2.7, it became default. If you create a new account, if you add a new folder connection, uh, you always have the, the um, virtual file system here. Um, yeah, so 
for 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 for, for um, branding customers and own brander, we also have settings to 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 enforce the VFS uh, to reduce the choice for your users, uh, or, or also say, mm, I have a special use case where I need to always sync the full files. And then all the branding option for this. Yeah. And then um, we worked a lot with support. We worked a lot with customers, um, listened, um, tried to understand the problems. And we did a lot of um, improvements around um, the login. Uh, so logs privileges were hard to find. Now um, you're used to see them directly in the, in the um, UI. We included also the option to um, HTTP. Logging the requests and responses. Uh, so um, uh, this is useful to debug really difficult problems um, in the client or on the server or somewhere in the middleware um, between. So in the past, I always recommended the, the meet and proxy. Uh, so I trained our support team in, in, in meet and proxy. In, uh, uh, meet and proxy. They they became ninjas in meet and meet and proxy, but um, then telling our customers, oh, you need to additionally install the meeting proxy. And uh, yeah, it's this category of, of hacker tools and so on. And not in every environment is allowed to install and, and, and everything to, to see what is going. Yeah, so we basically built our own meeting proxy into the, um, into the uh, locking. Um, in the desktop lock, um, this is option A enabled. You see every request, every response. Um, all the, the headers, the body, uh, if it's a JSON, if it's an XML, in case of, of a prop find, you can get the, the full output uh, and um, see everything about the request that was sent to the server or came back from, from, from the server. Um, may came, it, 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 it may contain sensitive information. Um, that's why um, we, we redact some, some parts like the authorization header, but also somewhere in the JSON or in the file names also it contains user names. So this is um, uh, be, be very careful when you do this, um, when you enable this in the, in the settings, uh, we, we also clearly, clearly show um, that this uh, may, may contain sensitive information. So language switcher was, 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 was added. Um, latest desktop client uh, is available as an um, app image to support um, even more Linux platforms than we than we did before. Ah, and I forgot regarding the, uh, the locking. Um, we had the um, crash reporter. Uh, so in, if, if uh, users experience a crash, uh, it asks the user to please send this um, to, to us. Uh, it's user choice. But um, now user has also the option to include the last lines of the regular on cloud um, debug log in the crash report um, sent to us, and then the um, uh, desktop development team uh, much better understanding what was happening. Huh? And um, yeah, um, this this helps helped us. This really made a difference in in uh, fixing fixing um, crashes. Um, uh, many many. Improvements will already go into the uh, 2.9.1 version that's available in the, the next few days. Okay, app image for Linux, even more um, Linux platforms, and um, this this will be will be improved over over time. And um, yeah, also quite quite some quite some time ago, but 64-bit um, um, installer um, on on um, Windows. Yeah. Um, WinFS um, virtual file system got, got improved a lot. Uh, so um, we, we learned a lot about it, what could go wrong. Uh, the feature is a little bit poorly documented on the, on the Microsoft side. So um, we learned NTFS on Windows is a hard requirement. Uh, so it does not work on your lousy old USB stick. Um, it does not work on mounted volumes. Uh, so we have plenty of users that have their sync directory on a network drive that's connected to something else and so on. Um, you cannot place, you, you cannot sync directly um, uh, drive root. Uh, so you can put your folder on the drive root and then it syncs fine. Um, yeah, and um, 
um, plenty of improvements and, 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 and issues uh, and we found some special nasty ones that were related to um, that um, multiple accounts or multiple sync client um, shared the same um, sync folder connection. Uh, so there are probably use cases, not for the user, but more like for um, server server applications, syncing one thing to another thing and so on. Um, but um, yeah, we, we um, found really serious problems with it. So especially um, in regards of virtual file system, um, we had to prevent it um, to, to, to avoid serious harm. So um, some users, the special use cases might miss it, but um, yeah, there are, there are other tools to solve such stuff um, uh, much, much better. And if you really want to use the desktop um, sync client um, version 2.8 is still out there um, for such stuff can be, can, can be also, also used. Plenty of bug fixes. Um, there, there um, uh, are, are included a lot of about performance, um, reliability, many crashes, um, error handling. We had an issue where um, a secondary SQLite file was growing and growing and growing. Uh, this got now resolved, it's cleaned up um, every, every few minutes, stay, stay small, do not cause problems. Was a problem with the syncing if you had a very long path in the in the in the windows. Um, we learned a lot a lot about about locking uh, on such a Windows system. Everything can 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 lock. Um, uh, we had closer look at um, virus scanning, uh, so the have different kind of locks, uh, and this all interrupted the um, smooth operation of the of the desktop sync client. Uh, so, if you go to the change log. Uh, you see a long list, you really find crazy stuff that, that can go wrong. And, um, yeah, so much stuff improved in the, in the, in, in, in the, um, 2.9 and even more in the 2.9.1. Uh, so you can wait, wait, wait for this. Okay. And we also increased our, um, automated testing efforts. Uh, not only you remember there were previous talks about the smash box. It was, um, done in cooperation with CERN, uh, but also um, now use another framework, um, industry standard in the QT world, the, 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 the Squish. Uh, so um, the team writes Gherkin file with a description is going on, and the Squish is, is um, um, using the desktop application similar as a real user would, would, would do, uh, and this helps us um, also to, to um, avoid errors and, 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 and regression in, in a future version. Reduce our manual testing efforts uh, and let us use our testing, our manual testing capabilities for, for more, more useful um, stuff. Okay, what's on the roadmap of the desktop client? Um, big topic you previously heard before, spaces in OTSIS. Um, New topic. It's a new new API um, from 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 the OTSIS, um, but we really want to have great support um, for this in in the desktop client, uh, and it also so um, we expect it helps if you do not think this this single big um, file tree, uh, but um, in your organization you have a large instance with a lot of departments, a lot of projects, and everything is a space. Uh, and you only choose what you're thinking. Um, and um, yeah, um, I think this this um, will, will become great. Yeah, um, VFS, we are not done yet. There's still plenty of stuff to do. Um, for example, we could show um, thumbnail previews uh, before the real file is downloaded, big image file. Uh, we fetch a tiny thumbnail, um, show it in your, in your Windows Explorer. Um, we can extend the, the status icons in the in the own um, column uh, with with own sharing information uh, and and stuff. Um, progress bar and then um, policies about um, auto hydration, um, auto clean up. You did not touch this file for a while. Uh, it will be automatically um, dehydrated. Give admins more options to 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 control this. Um, it's a different um, uh, context menu. 
um, available also in the new Windows System API world. And I think this would make the um, desktop client more sexy in the new Windows 11 world. Um, then, um, yeah, long, long discussion point. Maybe you know, now possible with the new um, OTS app provider um, uh, accessing the server apps from the from the desktop client. I have a file. Maybe it's only virtual file because it's so big. Um, I right click, opens in my uh, web UI. I have a special web application, and I can I can edit it there. Uh, maybe in a collaboration mode. Some things um, that are currently not possible natively on the on the on the desktop client. Yeah. We are also um, uh, extending the virtual file system on, on macOS and Linux. MacOS, there were delays um, from the system API Apple provides, but they introduced it uh, in uh, June at, at um, Apple Worldwide Developer Conference. Um, but it's pretty different. So the architecture and everything is pretty different from the um, Windows approach. So not an easy thing. But we definitely want to go this 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 way. Um, yeah, happy to show you uh, alpha version in the future. Happy to hear feedback testing this and make it the same same reliable uh, than as as a Windows Windows uh, VFS. Now on the server, it's been manual manual file locking support. Want to bring this to the to the clients as well. And um, yeah, for for our customer that use branded. Um, Builds, they do not um, have the crash reporter uh, because we don't know that their user sent information um, to us. Um, but um, we want to add a switch uh, in our build system to build a branded debug build. So um, you as an admin could hand a special debug build to your users. They can run it, reproduce the issue, crash report is sent to us. We hopefully learn what is going on and can fix it. And then next update will will be replace the, the regular branded version, or um, user can switch to the to the regular branded version um, as, as well. Uh, just another tool um, we want to use to better um, understand scenarios uh, that we that we cannot reproduce in our environment. And so on. Yeah, and there's a lot in in the, in the big enterprise project. We learned a lot about about requirements. Um, about um, provisioning um, GPO on the on the Windows uh, Server Managed Client profiles discussed were, were discussed uh, before. But first, it, it it needs a foundation layer of of, of, of configuration, uh, and then we can build such features um, on 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 top. Definitely on on our list, um, but yeah, also not a not a quick thing to do. Okay. Let's continue to the on cloud um, Android app. There's a huge effort going on, um, big architecture um, rewrite. Um, uh, and um, yeah, you could go to the um, um, GitHub repository and um, the, 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 all the planning um, and all the process, all the decisions are, are transparent for you in the in the um, GitHub. Um, so um, check the labels, um, new architecture, and then um, only the labels epic. And then you have the, the high level items. Huh? And um, you see the, the, the checkboxes, team first worked on the, on, on the shares, um, then um, authentication, and now currently working in um, synchronization. This is a huge step that is developed in a, in a separate branch, independent from the um, current current releases. And when this is done, will be merged, and then all the um, new synchronization stuff um, will will uh, get released in a, in a in a in a future version. So um, in the GitHub issue, there is also an overview, technical description, the the, the architecture. Um, it was also a blog post, and there is a conference talk from, from David from previous conference. Uh, so if you're interested in um, best practice Android uh, development and architecture, please, please check this out. Okay. In Android, um, big topic, the document provider, everything um, you do, how other apps interact with the, with the app or the, the um, Android native. 
uh, file manager is all for the document provider amazing support um, for uh, for this um, very reliable very powerful a um, lot of stuff you can you can do with it okay with a look to um, um, OTSIS uh, and also yeah um, to to stay up to date in regards of of, of uh, security and best practice of authentication um, Android app um, also supports Open ID Connect Pixie and also got dynamic uh, client registration so um, can be can be can be controlled um, uh, from 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 IDP uh, and and everything okay. Um, besides this, this there were plenty of UI and UX improvements. Um, um, it looks different in in many parts now. Uh, got got improved. Um, team was um, exchanging ideas also with uh, with the usability experts uh, and everything. For example, accounts got um, reworked. Um, the file list, the sorting of the file list. Um, Settings page is is completely new, and there we also brought the link to the settings page um, to the to the first screen. Uh, so because um, yeah, locking you can enable locking um, in the settings page, uh, and if you experience problems logging in, you cannot lock them in the debug lock. Then you can uh, do nothing about it. That's where we decided to already set a link to the settings on the on the first screen. Um, you enable the locking, then you try um, the, the the login attempt. Uh, can can enable HTTP requests and responses. In very detailed. See what is what is going on, um, and what what could could be the problem. Uh, so this helped us a lot. Um, uh, trying the, the Android app with with different identity providers. Um, um checking everything um, but button navigation bar was 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 reworked uh, if if you play music um cover art is is, is is displayed and many many more more things so with the big um um not not directly related with the big um uh, architecture rework but but a general trend um the android um, ecosystem there are so many um, features you can you, you can use and in many areas we switched to the um, uh, native implementations and got rid of um, many custom code that we no longer need need to need to maintain so um, the biometric lock we use the android native one the android share sheet the preferences page is following the android x um, uh, if you choose a camera folder we also use a native native picker so many improvements, but uh, also um, um, we had to, um, or we, 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 we did stop the support for the very old Android version. So um, we kicked the Android kit, 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 kit 4.4. And I think current system requirements is, is Android 5, what is still pretty, pretty old um, uh, for, 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 for older devices. Um, but um, yeah, no, otherwise it would be not possible to do the, 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 the stuff we did, we, we did here. Okay, on the Android roadmap, um, what is currently going on? It's a big project. It is the scoped storage. So previously, the Android app just put all the files um, directly on the device storage. And with the latest Android version, um, Android does not, does not like this. Um, to directly access the file system, this will go away. And um, um, that's, um, we, we had to, but we also wanted to put our files in a scoped storage. Right? It's very similar to the sandbox we have in the iOS app. Um, the data cannot be accessed from, from the outside, only um, through the app. And there we use the native, native options, the, the, uh, document, uh, the, the document provider, uh, so that all apps um, can can access this. Um, this is currently ongoing, um, um, near, nearly finished, will be released soon, needs a lot of testing. There's a migration wizard. Uh, so if you have data on your external storage, available offline data, cached files, uploads, um, files waiting for, for, for upload, they will be all migrated. Um, we'll guide the user through, through, this, through this process and um, 
Yeah, so big security improvement in the in the um, uh, Android app uh, and also requirement uh, to, to to be supported on um, uh, latest latest Android version. So if you have third party apps not supporting the document provider yet, uh, you can just export the files to your external storage and then other apps can do um, with it um, what, what they want. So. Another project um, will be started soon is also the, the MDM configuration. Android app works fine um, uh, with, with um, mobile device management. Um, it it can, be, can be distributed, deployed with mobile device management, um, with the um, uh, wrappers from the MDM vendors. Uh, you have this containerizing, the tunneling and everything works. But we did not have um, uh, way to configure the settings of the Android app um, with such key key value pairs, um, and um, yeah, following the the, the app config dot dot org standard, and um, this will be a thing uh, where we have a look um, very very soon. Um, makes the app very flexible to use in um, large organizations, um, saves a lot of time, improves the user experience, and everything. Okay, for the OTSIS, um, big thing, um, spaces, of course, we want to have it in the Android app as, 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 as well. Um, and in the mobile apps, well, we, can, we can build this, this, this very, very nice. Um, then not implemented yet in the, in the Android app, uh, but also on the, on the uh, roadmap. Um, the resumable upload protocol, uh, similar, it's available in the, in the, in the desktop. Um, search big topic, um, manual file locking, um, and, and of course, yeah, various other backend features that are not available in the, in the um, uh, apps yet, like accessing version, accessing the trash bin, um, setting tags, um, comments. Um, or, um, or also other upcoming OTSIS features, uh, we want to bring them um, to the, to the um, Android app as well. Okay. So then let's switch to the iOS app, news and roadmap. iOS app was a rewrite from, from scratch. Uh, I think it was available in the last conference um, we, we, we had, but a lot of stuff happened. Um, since this time. So, um, also OTSIS, OTSIS best friend, OpenID Connect, Pixie, Dynamic Client Registration. Um, a lot of stuff was done in the, in the file provider, um, in iOS Files app, and also um, from, from, from other applications. So support for this is much, much better than, than in the Android ecosystem, uh, but, but very similar. Um, in the iOS app, there is already the resumable upload protocol with a with a TOS, um, and um, yeah, so, so um, this we 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 had feature feature parity with the, with the old app. Huh? All, all all the basic stuff was 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 implemented. So um, a team built some really cool additional features, um, and um, so the the iOS app is available for free with uh, plenty of features, but in the App Store, we have um, such pro features and they can access via, via in-app purchases or, or, or subscription for our enterprise customers. Those features are automatically um, unlocked and you do not have, have, have to deal with, with this. So we have a document scanner, very powerful, very efficient. Um, you can annotate um, uh, images and PDF files. Um, we have a nice implementation in the um, iOS shortcuts engine, so workflow engine in the iOS app, um, automatically exchange data with, with um, uh, plenty other application. There's a real ecosystem about this. Only this feature would, 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 be, would be an, 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 ex, an, an extra talk. Yeah, um, powerful features um, for, for photography. Uh, so um, yeah, we, 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 we support the upload of the original unmodified uh, file. Um, so um, last year's iPhone 
uh, at this um, raw format um, and um, yeah we, we, we were the, the um, first and only ones um, that, that really supported um, the upload of the original file because photographers would like to do their own processing um, with, the, with the raw file uh, we have a nice um, um, we nice nice in the image the the, the metadata the, the information from the camera or the camera settings um, we, we have there and we have some very cool um, um, iPad features for 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 productivity um, you, you, you can arrange multiple windows right? you can have multiple accounts or you have the PDF preview on the one um, uh, window and um, the file browser on 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 the other one um, and um, yeah we have we have full keyboard support if you attach a bluetooth uh, keyboard or, or the, 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 the 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 apple keyboard um, you, you you can basically control every operation in the ios app only with a keyboard oh, that's awesome when Apple announced mouse and trackpad support on the on the iPad, um, we are very very early. Had really nice um, support. Um, we have very powerful multi-touch gestures. Uh, so um, uh, that that for example, if you if you use two two fingers, scroll scroll down, you auto get multi-select uh, and and uh, stuff. Um, so it's re really really fun um, to uh, to use. Um, in the, one of the latest version, um, we have a um, very powerful search. Currently, the search implementation is is only in the um, based 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 on the local data. Um, that's why it's blazing fast. Um, we we allow um, uh, 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 plenty of of, of um, um, terms uh, to search for for the type or for the date. Uh, and everything you can combine them a very powerful search engine um we are working so um so search is big big topic and we're working with uh, with other teams um to 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 make really great search experience across all all platforms um presentation mode uh, stays stays on um very powerful drag and drop support um not only in the app um, but but also you you can drop to others app you can basically get drag and drop everything from outside to the to the own cloud app image from a web website a snippet of 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 text it's created as a as a as a, as a new file um, we are very very proud about the the file provider passcode protection mm -hmm. uh, we have password protection um, uh, in the in the um, uh, iOS app itself. Uh, but what about your data in the file provider? And because we have those, those powerful um, offline capabilities in the file provider, uh, um, uh, it was it was um, no good idea to have it unprotected uh, if you have a passcode, but also no good idea to um, uh, make it not not accessible when the main app um, is is uh, locked locked with a with a passcode. Uh, um, and um uh yeah so and this is what basically all the other apps apps uh, do oh, i tested this here you, you can you can you get the screenshot marketing team did a nice tweet about it and um if you have the app uh, locked go to the file provider with the own cloud app uh, you see option to unlock with touch id or with your passcode or with face id and then uh, it unlocks the files in the file provider and this also works if you access from from third party apps uh, so um this is one 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 of the um nice nice things where we um are very very ahead um uh, in 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 front of 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 all the others okay um very cool in one of the latest version is uh, is a clipboard support uh, so you not only can drag and drop stuff uh, but also um, copy paste inside the app uh, but also I'm in my mail uh, I have a mail attachment PDF I press on it long press and say copy go to the iOS app and say paste and the file is copied there across all apps um, this is very 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 amazing so now some of the more serious topics um, MDM support 
uh, following the, the appconfig.org standard from day one or even before day zero, um, all the app um, is uh, parametrized um, and um, there, there are plenty of, of uh, key, key value pairs and they are auto-generated um, um, from, from the code itself. Uh, so the code is in the um, documentation and um, I can see if I can show the documentation. Yeah, this is a case. If you go to our documentation, um, there you see, um, and um, we, we, we have plenty of um, configuration parameters um, accessible that can be used in, in all the MDM solutions um, in, in different errors and many features uh, you can you can enable you can disable um, um, also a lot of um, security features um, passcode enforcement for your for your users um, mm, policies connection I can prevent um, the the usage of uh, basic auth uh, I can I can customize the user agent uh, if I if I if I want this um, and um, yeah many 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 things can be can, can be done here um as i told you this will be a webinar in the in the in the future and this is a unique configuration concept because all the parameters you see here uh, are is an abstraction um for for um branding and um mdm so all the parameters also work as branding settings uh, so if you're a big university for for example uh, your users, you do not manage your users' devices, uh, but all the uh, configuration options uh, we put in in um, our own render uh, and it's built in in in, in your app. Uh, so, if your organization that has uh, user devices enrolled and full control, uh, you can change those parameters with the MDM and even dynamically. Uh, and those different config options are um, weighted. Um, this means. Um, you have like your server URL branded to make it easy for users, but for testing, you can override the server URL um, uh, with, a, with, a, with a MDM. Uh, so very powerful, very flexible, and we are very proud. And um, we, are, we, are, we are extending this um, all, all, all the time. So um, yeah, the MDM. Um, then you might have wondered about the strange um, Version information, we did a big jump. Uh, it was 11.4. Remember, old iOS app 3.8, and then we had the 1.3, and then we had to release a new version. The good thing in the new version was, oh, it can migrate from the old app. Uh, we released a second app, uh, but our, for our branding customers, they want to uh, deploy the new app as an update um, to, the, to the old app. Um, so, but um, it was difficult to understand that the 1.4 is an update for the 3.8. So we put the digit one before, and then we have 11.4. 11.4 was the update for the 3.8 huh? with a um, seamless migration. Um, we really guided the user, uh, as you can see on the on the on the right um, screen. Um, yeah, um, new app is available for branding. For, for customers, um, uh, team use this um, um, as internal tooling. Uh, we, we already uh, provided branded builds for many customers, and now we onboard the first customers to work in a new own brander for the iOS app. It's part of the customer portal, portal to Um Yeah, and um, this is currently going on. Yeah, and also um, for, for support, for debugging, uh, we've really amazing login. Uh, I showed this in the workshop yesterday. Um, we have uh, um, also option to to um, enable HTTP requests and responses uh, to be included in the log, also with the sensitive data redacted um, and, and and everything. And of course, you can access the log from previous settings that are accessible from from the first screen. Okay, on the roadmap. So we are not done yet, um, still a lot of ideas. Um, we want to build um, the spaces for the um, OTSIS. Um, 
a new 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 API. Um, not sure. Maybe iOS app. Maybe the desktop app will be, have have the first support for the for 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 for, um, uh, for the OSIS. Huh? Um, then we are all the time extending the MDM features uh, in all the customer projects. Customers um, provide us um, many, many ideas. And it's um, uh, fun to, to add additional um, uh, uh, settings there, make it more customizable uh, and so on. Um, yeah, I told you about the local search. Uh, we also bring it together with a server side search uh, because you have only a subset of data um, already indexed on your on, on your device or so the spaces, maybe only one of the um, spaces um, in sync. But um, we want to enrich the, the um, local search, the, the very fast local search results with a little bit slower server side search results uh, and display user all the options. If a user selects something, it immediately opens, um, it downloads, goes to the folder, downloads from the server. Uh, and, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Manual file locking, you want to bring to the IS platform as well. And um, of course, versions, trash bin, text, comments, and some. Uh, so um, some nice um, backend features are not implemented in the IOS app, but this is definitely what we want to do. Okay. This was an update from all the client platforms. What happened um, since last conference and what's on the um, roadmap for the, for, the, for the next time? Okay, thank you very much for, for attending. If you have any questions, I will close this and then I go to the Q&A room in, the, in our event tool. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day.